Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to sh try to show you how to use the draft um, draft on a face tool. And this tool has some non-intuitive features to it, so I'm going to try to um, try to navigate those. But first, let me show you the article that I wrote. So this is draft on a face tutorial. It's over on FreeCAD Info, and I'll have the link in the description. Um, also, make sure you check out the description for the uh, Patreon pages of some of the developers for FreeCAD. Think about supporting them so we get additional great features like this. Um, so what I'm going to do is I have the second body here, which is just the box, but um, with the transparency set so that uh, so we can see uh, the effect that each thing is having. So that might confuse the tutorial a little bit, but just keep in mind that the the translucent one is just there as a guide. So let me start out by getting rid, get, getting rid of the draft. Okay, and I need to hide this. So um, you can create a box just by using the create an additive primitive. It'll add a box and the body for you. But I, I'll show that in uh, different tutorials. So I'm gonna select first the face uh, to that we're going to be adding the draft to. You must select a face. Um, I, I saw somewhere it said edge or item, but it, it has to be a face or it fails. So for example, if I try to select an edge, it will fail that it's not possible. I don't know if I can do a vertex. Let's try a vertex. Nah, forget it. Um, <laughs> so when I do the draft there, it kind of looks like we didn't get any kind of draft, but if we bring our translucent one back, we, we see that uh, it did in fact draft it by 1.5 degrees. So now if you change that, you can see that the draft is getting larger. I can also mouse scroll that to make it even, uh, to do it even faster. Um, or you could just type it in. And the thing I like about uh, this tool is that it does visually change as you're working on it if it's a correct, uh, if it's if it's correctly, or if it's a valid draft. And let me show you an invalid draft. I think if I go up to 45, it becomes invalid and I'll try to tell you why. So you can see that it goes straight down to the very corner. And that's one of the reasons why you need this tool. If you try to do this with chamfer, you can't go all the way down to the corner. You can only go right next to it. Um, you could do 44.9999, but you can't do, or whatever this distance would be. So the cham chamfer measures the distance of the face, whereas the draft angle uh, just angles the face. So if we try to go over 45, we get an error. And the only place you'll see that error, if you don't have the report view up, you'll see it down here. And then again, you see it in the report view. The reason, the way to get rid of that error is to uh, change your angle back. So we'll change it back to 45. You'll notice it doesn't update and say that it's fixed, but you don't get an error in the status view. Okay, so that's how we create the basic draft. Now let's look at changing the neutral plane. So this is a little bit hard to understand, but the best I can figure is that the neutral plane, uh, the default is here, and I, that's, I think that's selected by the smallest edge on the, the smallest numbered edge on the draft plane, which is this one. So that's two, this is 10, this is six, and this is 12. So this is the smallest edge, so I think it puts the draft plane on that. And I think there's some focus on this vertex, but I don't know the extent of that. So if I change the neutral plane to here, I get the same, I will get the, the same kind of draft, but turned to make this the neutral plane. But now when I go to these two planes, you'll see that it's a different type of, of draft. And I think that's because the pull direction ends up being towards here and specifically towards this vertex. But I'm not sure if that's really how it works. So let's change the neutral plane to here and now we get and you'll see it'll go up instead of down. So now you'll see that the draft is a tall draft instead of a, an additive draft instead of removing. But we can change that by doing the reverse pull direction and then you see it'll go back down. Oops, let's do it to 44 so it'll work. So again, that's so it does have a little bit of, I think I should be able to get it to 44. Nope, it still fails. That's interesting. Um, so you do have to pay attention to your error box um, that's going to that's gonna be your lifeline. And now let's change it to this last plane, here, this neutral plane here, okay? Um, and you'll see that it's down in this way. If I didn't have the reverse pull, it would go up like that. So let's, let's get rid of the neutral plane so it goes back to the default. I'm not going to cover pull direction because I can't explain it quite 
quite yet in, in a good way. Now, what I do want to show you is adding additional faces. So first, let's change this back to 22. So we're going to make a little pyramid shape. I'm going to do add face here, and I'm going to add face here, and add face here. And you'll see that now I have a pyramid shape. And remember, the translucent one is my addition. Now, you can't draft the face that's opposite the neutral plane. Um, so if you try to add this face, you'll get you'll get, it'll just ignore that face, which is kind of good. So you'll still get a draft, but it'll be ignoring that face. So that's just about all I want to cover for this. Otherwise it gets too complicated. Um, I would stay away from the pull direction and the neutral plane at first, try to understand just the default behavior, um, and then move into the neutral plane. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe and, and you know consider hitting me up on Patreon. I appreciate that. But above all, have a great day.